show about a Jewish guy named Don Stein. In real life, he writes for a magazine sometimes. But now he's got his own cartoon show on VH1, which they hope will be a hit because they sure need one. And even though the show got sort of a sitcom feel, there's a band and some celebrities for more appeal. Joel likes to ask him questions that'll make him squirm. Sometimes he gets punched out, but Joel never learns. Hey, Joel, what do you know? You got your own show. Try not to blow it, cause if you're not funny, then you'll soon be gone. And they can fill the time with some more Lenny Kravitz songs, then you'll be back in obscurity where you belong. Hey, Joe. Dream. I gotta write this down. Wait, I don't remember it. Forget something like this? No way. <sighs> and you were in it? And you? All right already. You had a dream in the style of that Beatles movie, A Hard Day's Night, only instead of the Beatles... Yes! Guitar playing pigs! What a stimulating dream! Who cares? Listen up, Joel. Our dreams are tedious and never ever fascinating to anyone but ourselves. I had one where I'm shouting to people that the sun on the Upper West Side smells worse than the sun on the Upper East Side. Wow, did it? Is that a theory? Because it should be. What were you wearing? Shorts? Do you ever get caught in a downpour without an umbrella? That doesn't have to be in a dream. Yeah, outstanding dream, Michelle. <sighs> Just get ready for your show, Joel, and no more dreams from you. Why is this such a big deal to you, Joel? You had a dream. A cool dream. But you must have had a million others. I've never, ever remembered a dream before. Never. Never? Not even what we used to call where I grew up manhood dreams? No. Okay. Now we're officially at a sad place. You know, getting Michael Stipe on the show is a coup. Are you ready with some good questions? I can't focus. I want to get back to bed. Those pigs are waiting for me. I'm going to let an obvious joke opportunity pass. See, Michelle, all my life I've wanted to be one of those great artists who have a dream, then jump out of bed and create art from it. Like Fellini, I heard. Might be wrong. But now maybe stars will come on my show, hear the fantastic questions I've dreamed up, and say, you are the Fellini of Celebrity Q&A. Fine. In the meantime, do your questions. No sleeping till tonight. Is that Tylenol PM? No. Hand it over, Snoozy. Hi, Kev. Are the Daria Donuts fresh today? I don't know. These are the Divas Summer Tour Donuts. Oh, thanks for the warning. Hey, they're named for the Divas, not made by the Divas. Huh. Ground class. I take that? Thanks. Impressive organization, sir. Is it a mania? Skills learned as a young man never depart. You really whip it. Why, that's what I call it. The whip. I am Laszlo, a professional men's room attendant. Once, we were in all the finest hotels and restaurants. But today, I have no men's room to attend. I am the last of my kind. Sit. Oh, boy. I love a good life story. Thanks for coming, Michael. Pleasure's mine. I insisted on doing three minutes with Joel. It never fails to make me wince. It's idiotic tangents, maundering complacency of the host, college paper wisdom. How like my own music, in other words. This guy gets me. My whole attack. And he's filled with tasty self-loathing. And yet... All I can think about is going to sleep, to dream of pigs. This lovely bit with Leif Garrett, preternaturally defining, well, what, I, I don't know, I, I can't even finish uh, this sentence. So, Leif Garrett is off heroin for good. Must be great to sit here smiling and not really thinking, oh God, how I want to escape this hell pit of a pseudo talk show by nodding out to some sweet, sweet Mexican mud. Your rage towards your guest is so palpable, it's endearing. Is, is that a word, endearing? You'll inject that astonishing tone into my three minutes, Stein. I, I, I know. Pigs. Do you have, um, what do you call them uh, around here? Band-aids. Hurry. For 52 years, I was the men's room attendant at Grand Central Station. Until they spiffed it up for the damn fool millennium. Automated hand dryers, self-flushing urinals. My life was over. So that's the whip. Ah, the whip. My signature. Got its name in 1958, when Gunther Gable Williams, the most famous lion tamer of them all, came in my place of business to make it his place for doing his business. That joke used to kill in the toilets. 
I will not mince words. In your tail snap, I detect the very same sound I myself produce at centering when I lash my power whip at the big cats. So you began calling it the whip? Was that the beginning of a lifelong friendship with Gunther Gable Williams? What? He left without so much as a quarter in the caboodle cup. Do that again. I've never so anticipated an interview. Joel is so unquackmired in the celebrity hamster wheel. What a rush. Hold still. I'm getting set. I'm getting wet. Jeez, Kevin, little help? Please, please take it. You could be the future of the men's room attendant. You shouldn't have followed me here, Laszlo. I'm honored, but my job needs me. I'm essential. Kevin, bring the bottle opener that doesn't hurt when you use it. One minute. Let's go, Kev. It's all in here for you. You got the natural whip. Come, let's find a sink and see if you're any good with soap flakes. I'm sorry, Laszlo. Goodbye. Remember, no holds. Bard. Dream interview, Michael Stipe. I never read reviews. My very good friend Bono. <laughs> so I said... What's going on here? Share, sweetie. <laughs> Everything I ask him, I get this endless loop of showbiz goop. Yet oddly, my spidey sense is tingling. That's it. Hey, Michael. All great artists dream. Tell me your all-time favorite dream. Dreams? I told Joel. Well, do you mind a little raunch? I call this my naked, degraded Grammy's dream. Lucky. Very lucky. First, let me tell you mine. I bet it's better. Uh, imagine the movie A Hard Day's Night, only instead of the Beatles, pigs! Incredible Beatles pigs! Kevin, tell Joel I want to see him the moment we rap. And Kevin, call maintenance. That guy over there looks dead. <laughs> Laszlo, where did the time go? How will we make it through our next trip to the loo without you? You were more than a standard American. You're the reason the room is called gentlemen. You may take in the leak, seem so elegant. Oh, Laszlo. Heaven. Now that Laszlo's in heaven Will you carry the torch or will you lock the door on the past? Cause the world's not the place that it used to be And we're all on our own when we've gotta pee Where's the style, where's the grace, where's the dignity? What can we do? Oh, Kevin, can't you see? It's all up to you. So, Michael Stipe, never coming back on the show. Says you're dull. He hardly let me get a word in. He said no holds barred, then he wouldn't let me stein him. Celebrities lie. Come on, how many times have stars told you, Joel, that was the best interview ever? Okay, how about when you gush, that was awesome, please come back on my show. What's that mean? Okay, I get it. Tell me. You one hit wonder, I don't care how tight that blouse is, you're never coming back on my show to bore all three members of the VH1 audience to death. Enough! 11 a.m. tomorrow, Dr. Kitty Zerman? Company shrinker, you need to sort out some of these issues you have with celebrities. My dream was better than his. The audience wanted to hear his. Company shrink. I can't believe this. Wipe them dry, sir. Perhaps a wintergreen splash? Pomade? Vitalis? What the hell are you doing, Kevin? Preserving a culture. Laszlo's culture. Toilet servant culture? Or am I missing something? Laszlo's dead. He selected me to keep his world alive. Ah, I used to dream of unearthing ink and ruins in the jungles. I accept now that this is probably as close as I'll get. You're 22. You're talking like an old man. You're saying, ah? You put the whites on, you sense your limitations and the death of possibility. I mean, in good ways. That's annoying. How can you do this and work on Three Minutes with Joel? Are you saying I can't be a production assistant and a men's room attendant? It does sound daunting. Current periodicals, sir? Argosy, Field and Stream, just came in. My, that's a fine bass on the cover. Yeah. Hey, thanks for doing the Mark McGrath pre-interview so I can finally get home to dream. Wait. Are you trying to get a date off him? You are. I have a little crush. For years. To death. The show? There he is. The ideal Sugar Ray crowd? Well, 
Female. <laughs> Done. Now one for you. Would you like to meet my parents? Are we maybe moving a little fast? Oh, no. I have to go. What? I didn't say no on the parents. It's sweet. Just sure. No, I forgot. Early shrink appointment. I hate those. They're such phonies. Mine's so wise. Never quit. But they judge you on your dreams, and my dreams blow. Oh, I'm running in place and not getting anywhere. That is a little fifth grade. I know. When will I have that dream where my parents are attacked by sharks, and I can only save one? Which? Sixth grade. I just want to impress my shrink with an amazing dream. Is that so weak? Do I help this guy? He wants me to meet his parents. How about a hard day's night, only with pigs as the Beatles? Dreamed it last night. It's yours. Take it. Joel, promise not to laugh. But I can't stop thinking about your superb dreams. Were you dreaming? Mark? Because that's a nice dream you gave me, but honestly, I think it's a little thin to fill 50 minutes. What else you got? I wasn't dreaming. It's late. You know who you gotta meet? My sister. I love her. And you are just like her. Okay, bye. Dream me something. Mark? Are we still on with your parents? Mark? That's it? I tell you my pig beetles dream and you just stare? Heard it already today. <laughs> Heard it? That's impossible. It's mine. Please. A commercial jingle leaks into the unconscious. Everyone thinks, see, I am this exceptional person with my Doritos dream. My mother only dreamed of soda. I am the person of consequence. You patients disgust me. Who else had my dream? A celebrity. One of my private patients. Ugh. Now I've got VH1 women demanding a ladies' room matron. We're not budgeted for this, Joel. Get Kevin out of the men's room. Today! Our dream killed this AM. That's nice, our dream. This'll make a funny story when I meet your parents. Right, but you know, it ran short. I had to fluff it out with one of mine. My dream? You fluffed out my Beatles dream? Yeah, I went with, I'm screaming, but nobody hears me! With my Beatles pigs? You know how original that is? You spit on it. Look, I'm willing to pay you for your dreams. What am I, your dream whore? Pay your sister. So, Mark, written any new songs, or are you just about written out by now? You know, Joe, I started a new song today, and I owe it all to your producer, Michelle. Really? Yeah. It's a haunting song about sleeping with a dreamer just to get her dream. And don't we all do that from time to time? I think we all use our brains to make some sense from time to time, but this isn't one of those times. And the sex was kind of loopy, better than a groupie, but not by much. That's where I hear a sitar, and in the video, pigs and beetle haircuts will do the chorus. You traded my dream for a one-night stand. I barely held hands with him. It was my dream. You didn't even dream it. Well, I could have dreamed it. And you know what? Who says I won't? I'm going to dream it tonight. I can't believe you did this. Aqua Velva pick me up, sir. And don't miss this year's divas. Debbie Reynolds, Connie Francis... Leslie I thought you liked the toilet Dawn news. Distracting to the patrons. What patrons? People are afraid to come in here. Kevin, in preserving the culture of the men's room attendant, you're actually destroying the vibrant culture of the music television men's room. Those who come after me will have their work cut out for them. Seen the new Mercuries? That comet. Whew! You know, Kev, when 15 Minutes with Joel became 3 Minutes with Joel, I didn't hear you bellowing about all that lost culture. 12 minutes where I could have asked Method Man if he needed a knife to eat steak with all those gold teeth. Gone! Look at you. You're worn out. Up all night doing two jobs. What if I made you choose? The latrine or the celebrity talk show? Which would you pick, P.A. Kevin? I will miss holding the candy bowl for the stars when those days are gone forever. Ah. Ah, Kevin. I owe it to Laszlo that his life's work will not be forgotten. Z call for you two? Yes, immediately. Me too. Any thoughts? I'm fired. You're fired. The show's canceled. Real Dark Horse, we've slipped through a wormhole in time. It's 2702, and a monkey named Simus is president. Look, whatever's behind that door is really bad. We're gonna need to show solidarity. Solidarity. Solid. Then we're agreed. We don't turn on each other unless it's absolutely necessary. Hi, kids. Hello. He enters supplying the emotional and moral center we otherwise lack. God, he's annoying. And he's your fan. We have some pretty big news, and we wanted you to hear it. This isn't the news, but my very good friend, Bono, says that he'll come on your show. 
He wants to get um stung by the stein. Wow, we've been trying to get him. I even bribed him. Nothing. Leftover Halloween candy corn isn't an impact bribe. Candy corn is omni seasonal. Do you want to reopen that debate? Because I will win it again. Anyway, thanks. I didn't think you liked being on three minutes. Which brings us to the real news. I haven't been able to get your pig beetles dream out of my head. Thank you, mine. I talked it over with REM, and we want to make it the basis of our next album. So we've made an offer. And it's been accepted. Wait, money? Won't I need an agent? I shouldn't, but I'll cut you in. That's very generous, but I think you're about to get cut out, Joel. The network position. Oh. Told you. Is that VH1 owns anything uttered on its shows by its employees? There you are, Michelle. I just wanted to tell you in the friendliest way that I chatted with my attorney about my dream, which may or may not bear a similarity to a dream of yours. Which similarity is hereafter referred to as the coincidence? It's not her dream. It's my dream. And I own his dream. You sold it to Joel. You are shameless. No, I sold it to REM. It's VH1's dream. No, it's my dream. Ask my psychiatrist. Ask my psychiatrist. Hey, we must have the same shrink. Who can I tell? Wait, is that lame? Well. REM owns your dream now,、uh, Joel. You mean my dream? That's going to be the centerpiece of Sugar Ray's next hit album, "Worst Sex I Ever Had." He doesn't mean me. I'm not getting that. Well, I'll sue. No, I'll sue. I can't believe this. You guys are haggling over my dream, and I, Dreamer One, am getting nothing. Well, we're getting Bono, right? Almost definite, maybe. First they take your minutes, then your dreams, then your soul. Tell me about it, Rob Roy. Wait, this has to stop. Too much menthol, sir. Kevin, you've got a great heart. Trying to preserve Laszlo's stupid culture, I almost admire you for it. Stop doing that. But sometimes useless things die off. Austro-Hungary, Fusenglatja, co-ed naked lacrosse T-shirts, Mike Ovitz, the XFL. The world gets too crowded, and some useless crap that we love fires off into the void. You gotta let it go. They're still screaming at each other, and Z wants you. This is a men's lavatory, Missy. All right. What we need here is a good compromise, the kind of thing that kept the Beatles together. Wait, am I wrong about that? I like these guys more when they liked each other less. M and M's, please. No blue ones. No red ones. I'll pick out your red ones. I'll eat your blue ones. Of course, they won't get any M and M's because our PA is still on patrol in the men's room. So we're back with this special edition of Three Minutes with Joel, which obviously wasn't special enough for a fourth minute. Michael and Mark were discussing their forthcoming co-album, Dream Slut. The Horror of Dreams. We'll work that out. Yeah, of course. It's a small thing. You're getting along so well, or is that just showbiz fake a Rudy? No. Eh. Eh. Don't. Don't. Don't me. I told you, it's a ba 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 ba. No, no, no. It's a um. It's a b b b b b b b b. Duck. No. It's a melody ba, war. Ba 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 ba. B b b b b b. Stop tape. I got an idea. This is great, Joel. Now the whip will live forever on a potential Grammy song, and I can get out of these stinky clothes. This song say Grammy to you? Take that, you bastard! If they can work through their creative differences, enjoy some peanut M and M's, and I think they can. So that's it, Joel. In your dreams, you think everyone is a big phony pig except you. Some breakthrough. I was challenged. Pah. Look at him. Uh, me. VH1 says they own my dream. That it's not mine anymore. But look at that angel. 
You think they can prevent him from dreaming? No way. It's my unconscious after all, my unconscious. And yes, here come my piggies now. Hey, let's go. Sorry, Joel Stein is enjoined from ever dreaming about us again. Without express permission in writing from Sugar Ray Tunes Inc. Atlantic. And R.E.M. Co. W.B. Which permission shall never be granted. Our names, titles and images are no longer your property, Joel. You must stay 100 feet away from this dream at all times. I'm from Brittany. That still goes. Ha <laughs> ha!